So here we have a problem for the SAT regarding a circle with a known circumference, and we need to find the length of one of its arcs. So there's a few things that are important to note here. Um, first is for diameters, a diameter always goes through the center point of a circle by definition. So that actually bisects the circle. So this half is gonna be equal to this half. That's kind of just the definition of a diameter. So now we can look at the different, oh, the next thing to know is that opposite angles of intersections uh, are always equal to each other. So angle S, O, R, and P, O, Q are equal to each other, and then angles R, O, Q, and angle S, P are equal to each other, uh, S, O, P, excuse me. Uh, and, then and then the last thing you need to know is that, that for circles, the, um, the proportion of uh, arc length to the overall circumference is proportional to uh, angle, the, or the um, angle measure to the total angle measure of a circle. So basically SOP, the angle measure, is to 360 as uh, like arc SP is to the circumference, which in this case is 144 pi. We don't actually need to set up any proportions for these questions, but this concept is important to know. So now we know that the length of SP is double the length of PQ. So let the length of PQ be X, just for the sake of simplicity. So then we know X plus the length of SP, which is 2X equals 72 pi. And now why do we do 72 pi? Well, we have the circumference, which is 144. And since this is a diameter, it cuts this length in half. So we have x and 2x, and they should sum up to half of the circumference, which is 72 pi. So now we get 3x equals 72 pi. We divide both sides by 3, and we get x equals 24 pi. So that's the length of PQ, and coincidentally also the length of SR. So now we want to find the length of QOR. Well, we know that this length is going to be the same as this length, and length SP is simply 2 times 24 pi, so 48 pi. And of course, this arc length and this arc length are the same, so that's our answer. So we get B, 48 pi.